Hello and welcome to back to my channel. This is Proton Stars here to talk about blazons. I had a few, qu quite a few questions asking how to work with blazons and the basics about the interface. Uh, a lot of us have talked about what blazons do and how to upgrade them and all that, but I just wanted to go over the simple part of the actual interface. So you can get into the blazon section from any of the. Um, like workshop, barracks, archer camp, there's a button for the blazons. Once you get in there, you can actually go to any of the types. So by using the top tabs here, you can navigate to each type. It's got multiple presets for different blazon sets if you have a lot, and most of us don't, so I wouldn't recommend creating more than one blazon set. So I've kept all mine empty. If you have blazon set in any of these sets you cannot use them to upgrade or uh, deselect them to use as upgrades I'll show you an example if I can here I'm just gonna go over to the range one since uh, I'm going to do an upgrade on this one or change it uh, once you reach level 10 it unlocks the third one here mine has range troops training capacity which I do not like in order to use this blazon again as an upgrade option say if I want to upgrade this right I have nothing to choose here because they're all locked away now if I wanted to use this blazon again I would have to unlock it in order to use it so I would click this lock now it's unlocked now if I wanted to replace this blazon I would go to change now I'm going to look at the one I want to use. Let's just say I want defending range troop defense. Okay, so I'm going to change it to this one. Now that it's gone, say if I wanted to upgrade and use that other level 10 blazon to upgrade this current one, I would go to upgrade. Notice how I don't have it in the list. The reason being is because I did not save the current Preset. See how this button here is now says current on the on the fourth item here. Um, sorry, I don't have. Just realized I don't. I'm not showing my uh, mouse pointer. Give me a second to see if it will show here. Um, I forget how to show capture cursor. Okay, save. Okay, okay, there's my pointer, sorry. So this this here where it says current at the top here, in order to get it away from a current and assign it to one of the actual settings, you have to click the pen pencil icon here on the top left. Click that. I want to save it as the first preset, so I'm going to click that. Sorry, um, current. L l sorry, leave it on the current because that's the, the current set that you want right now. Press the save button first. It's going to confirm which slot you want to save it into. So you hit save. Now, which combination you want to save this into? You got to save it in the first slot uh, because you want to replace the one that is existing so that you can actually utilize that level 10 blazon to upgrade the current level 1 blazon. So now that it is in preset 1, you can see it and it doesn't say current anymore in the third one fourth one there and I can click on this blazon now and I can click on upgrade now that level 10 one is there to use I can actually select it and hit the upgrade button so now it's going to upgrade this blazon you end up it doesn't give you like the full amount back so you actually end up using you know a certain amount of blazons more to be equivalent to that one so it looks like you lose about 2,000 280 blazons when you do a, uh, a replacement upgrade from a level 10 blazon. So I'm going to leave that at that for now and that's how you operate with the interface. So uh, I'm going to do this as an example here. I'm going to unlock a couple of these because I probably don't want to use them later. Uh, I'll just do it as an example here. So I've got two unlocked now, right? Now if I will go to the upgrade, it'll show that these two are here to use for upgrades. So I can auto-select and it'll use all these to do the upgrade. So I'm not going to do that. 
I'm going to go to the second preset, which I have nothing set. Watch if I set one of these. See the ones that I haven't locked? I'm going to set this one in this slot here. I'm going to save this into slot 2. Okay, now that this combination is saved into slot 2, I'll go back to slot 1. And if I go to upgrade this, you'll notice that one blazon is gone. The reason why is because it is tied up or currently in use. Anything that is in um, considered in use cannot be used for upgrade. So if you want to get rid of all these, you actually have to remove this from this set. You actually have to overwrite, hit save, select slot 2, and save it as a blank slot. Now there's no blazons in this slot, I mean in this um, preset. So I'll go back to the first preset. Now if I hit upgrade, it'll show that blazon there again as an available item to be used as an upgrade. Okay, dokes. Hopefully that under hopefully you can understand that a little more. If you do not want to accidentally use a useful blazon because save your third attribute when you upgrade this doesn't get you an ideal one that you want. You want multiple copies of the same ones that you want to utilize later to repeat it again until you get the right ones. So these are multiple copies of the exact same one. Valor, Ocean, Blazon. Defending, Range, Troop, Defense. Defending, Range, Troop, Defense. So it's the same two attributes that I like. So I'm going to lock away this one because I want to keep those two in case I don't get a third good attribute at level 10. So I'll have to repeat and redo it again. I'm going to leave that one unlocked because I'll use it for upgrades later on for something else. You do get gutted sometimes when you get to level 10 and then you end up with things that you do not want. Say like reinforcing range troop HP. So I might have to repeat that so I kind of stop. It's reinforcing range HP. I kind of stop there too. It's kind of like how... Like this one I kind of like... I kind of cringe when I landed on in rally mounted HP, so I'm going to stop there. I do ideally want mount HP troop HP or defending mount troop HP for those too. It's like this one when you get to level 14 and then you get to the 15th one, the fourth attribute gets unlocked and if it's something you don't like, you may have to restart it again. So it's good if you can lock away other blazons that you can use again to replace it. So I might use this one here to replace this one later on. So that's why I have it locked away. But I'm not going to do it until I have a whole bunch of extra blazons that I can use to upgrade because you do lose some in the transition when you use the original blazon to upgrade the current one. Sometimes you get really good uh, luck and get you know, uh, really solid ones that you want, like this one where I landed all four marching range troop attack HP, I mean, range attack, so I just lock that away. So you don't want to leave this unlocked or anything, or you don't, you don't want to unapply it to any of the uh, presets. Leave it applied, lock it in there, and keep upgrading to the maximum level of 20. <laughs> uh, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and in regards to the the items at the bottom here, where it has the debuffs or buffs, and it's based on how many of each set you have you kind of want to take and pick what you want if you want a whole complete set of si like you'll see that ground has a justice set and a uh, I believe it is a sacrifice set so sacrifice is a defending set you can see the set attributes at the bottom when you have two pieces you get this one when you have four pieces you get this one when you have six pieces you have this one so if you use all six slots as a sacrifice set then you get that buff on defending. If you do a justice set, then you get as all these attributes at the bottom based on how many pieces you have for that set. Uh, sometimes depending on what your keep is or what purpose you're set up for, you want it a certain way. So stick to that set and have all the pieces related to the ones that you are, are gonna be using. I am set up defensively for Siege, so I've gone with a humility set for this and just kept all pieces in relation to that. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have all the um, items as defending, because I would prefer marching Siege attack, so it's offensive for attack, 
and I have defending siege HP for HP, so it applies only on defense. So that's how I have that set up. Anytime you change something, you have to save and apply it. So like say if I wanted to change this to, wait, I'll just pick a different one where I have some copies of. Uh, okay, so, so if you wanted to change it to this one, right, you would have to permanently save it. You would have to click on the pen icon again and you have to hit save and then you press one, right? Otherwise, if you go to slot one right now without saving it, it'll just revert back to what it was. Okay? So if you actually want to make the change permanent, you have to click on it. You have to hit the pencil icon, hit save, choose which combination slot to save into. I typically just use only one, so save it into one. So now that that's there, slot one is has this, this blaze on. Now if I wanted to upgrade using the other one, I would have to unlock it. So I would go to change and unlock it, and now this is available to use as an upgrade item. So I could go here and hit upgrade and use it as an upgrade. Say so select and hit upgrade, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to change it back, so I'll lock it, change it, switch it. To save it, you press the pen, save, slot one, okay. Now it's there, okay? Hopefully that makes sense, and if you have any further questions, do write me in the comments. I will answer as soon as I can. If you want to just join our Discord server, we have a channel there specifically for apprentices and a master's guild to, for higher level inquiries. Alright, thank you for watching, and hopefully it was informative. Like my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a great day!